All right, guys, big day today, fun day. Impressive Cowboys running in the first at Northfield Forest. Joining me today, uh, well, I guess, you know, guy's been around for a long time in the NHL. You had 12, 13 years you had out there. Um, played in Toronto, uh, Boston, Colorado, Dallas. Uh, am I leaving one out? Vancouver. Just Vancouver. one more. Just one more. Not too many more. Uh, so you've been around for a while, man. Andrew Raycroft uh, joined the stables. Uh, looking to get his first win as an owner. So, um, Andrew, first off, thanks for for coming on and doing this. Hugely, hugely appreciative uh, of it. And uh, tell us a little bit about, I guess, about NHL life and maybe how kind of the competitive side can kind of intermingle with this in the uh, in the harness racing industry. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, pumped, pumped to see uh, the second race. I saw last week's race as well. So, uh, it's cool to be a part of it and and being in the NHL for for a few years that I was able to, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm away from it now. And it, the, the horse racing part of it, it, there's lots of guys that, that run horses and own horses and get involved in it. I think it's, it, it's, uh, the competitiveness and the, the animal lovers. And, and we talked about it just offline quickly is the Europeans, the guys are the Swedes, especially they all own a horse, at least one, if not stables of them. So, I hung out with those guys a lot. I ended up having a year in Sweden and uh, was around it a little bit that way as well. So it, it, it's cool to be a part of this, and I'm looking forward to the race. Yeah, and and like Andrew said, I mean, we were talking about it. And I did not know that, um, you know, in your time in Sweden. I mean, they, it's a huge deal over there. And for you guys who uh, who I know in, in chat, we have a bunch of guys who are new to harness racing in general as well. But for them to kind of realize how big it is over there. I mean, give, give the people an idea of kind of what the experience is like in Sweden. Cause like you said, I mean, everybody kind of owned a horse. I mean, it's, it's like royalty over there. That's a big, big deal over in Sweden. It, it really is. And so I was, I was way up North and, and they run them year round. And the guy, obviously there's, there's the big races come summertime um, down in the Stockholm area, but, but they're traveling all year long around the country to all the different, the, to different harness tracks and uh again in umia they we had we had races every friday night so we'd be able to go out when we had a chance especially my family went home so i had lots of times with the single guys and that's that was their fun they'd start their night there and go to the race and have dinner and watch 12 13 races and they all had their horses of course that they were they were high on so it was uh I, like i said it's it's a big deal there and it's part of the culture certainly yeah so um the the cool thing with all this um, kind of getting you involved and, and doing this, I think as, and I, myself, I mean, granted, not the level that, that you are, but not to brag, Hey, division three athlete over here, uh, managed to make it that far. So <laughs> I like the fact that even when you're done with, you know, sports, cause we all can't play forever. That's some, some people are told sooner than later, but at some point you're done horse racing in a way is this cool little thing where you still get to be competitive. And it's kind of this neat little thing where, you know, even though we're not on the track running ourselves, it's kind of like our baby out there, like watching impressive cowboy. Like this is our, our baby, Andrew. We, we literally get to see him kind of run. And there's seven other guys who are watching that think they're going to beat us. Um, but I'm, I'm calling my shot now. We're, we're winning this. There's no way it's destined. I love it. It's got to be. It's got to be today. It's got to be today. And uh, yes, we all turn into beer leaguers at some point, no matter what the sport is. And it's for this, it, the best part about all of that is it's our baby and, and we don't have to do the work. You know, Impressive Cowboy is oh, going to yeah. be the one, the one slugging around that track. So uh, we cheer on, we, we coach up and, and that's, uh, that, that's the best part. Yeah. I mean, thank God it's not me or you going out there running a mile today. <laughs> There's cool. no way. It would no. be a long mile. No, they'd put in the comments. So big thing is uh, in racing, when you read the, I'm sure you've read through like the racing form before they have the comment section where let's say a horse uh, took a bad step or something. They'll put like pulled up lame. They'd be putting that for me right before the quarter <laughs> mile. I, I don't even think before it'd be like at the eighth pole. They'd put pulled up lame. <laughs> so let's, uh, <clears throat> let me see. I guess they're heading to the track now. We'll uh, see our boy here. Uh, we got the five hole here. Um, let me see. Did I get it? There we go. Uh, oh, one to two right. favorite right now. One well, to I two like favorite. Take that. Right. We're to getting the hammered. 
I think that's my fault because I I get <laughs> I guaranteed victory one other time, and that was with the mayor <laughs> that we had called Party Bell. And uh, I told everyone, I said, "Look, Party Bell's winning, no doubt in my mind." Called out everybody. I said, "There's no way this horse loses. She wins um, tonight." I did the same thing, and I think that's kind of what's going on here. I think that's kind of what's – there's our boy. Look at him. There he is. There Sean taking him out to the track. There he's um, ready. Looking good. He's looking all right. We got Ronnie Wren Jr. driving. I always call Ronnie. I say he's like the uh, Tom Cruise of Northfield. Kind of looks okay. like him a bit. Yeah, he does. He's got those Hollywood looks, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He'll be doing a little, you know, nothing crazy. It's not gonna be like Top Gun action. We don't want him doing barrel rolls or anything <laughs> with Cowboy, but he'll yeah. he'll send him out to the front. He'll get him. I was uh, just gonna say, is he going out to the front right away and just pacing the whole race? Is that what we he got? He should. Okay. He should. I think that's kind of the uh, that's hopefully the idea. Um, I would like to see Ronnie send him out, uh, and and Cowboy has good speed. That now the tough thing is, and Andrew, I don't know if you if you knew if you knew this or not. You probably have. You probably did, but. Every um every harness track is different. So like Northfield's only a half mile track, so you got it's a bull ring. You got these tight turns, short stretches. It's kind of uh, tough to navigate for some horses. Now when Cowboy's here, he struggles for pace a tiny bit, but I think he's still quicker than most of this group. When he goes out to Chicago and goes to Hawthorne and he gets that big mile track, longer turns, he got the long stretches. He'll get out on the front end and he'll just he'll sit on the chooch all day. He got no problem. Got it. So, got it. We'll see how he does here. I think he'll be. Uh, I think he'll be all right. Let's hope. If he gets out <laughs> to the front, we we should have a winner. Okay. We'll know about at the quarter mile pole how we're doing. So, uh, I guess tell us while we're waiting here because we got a little bit of time. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about kind of just the whole NHL life, the travel, all that goes into that. Because now, I mean, I remember we were talking before. You said you got, you know, now you got your son. Do, you know, practice and stuff. You're out of the game, so you you can kind of have time to go do that stuff. But uh, what's the travel and stuff? How much do you guys have to go through, like year to year? Sure, it's 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 a grind. You know, the first the first time through, it's it's amazing. You're in the hotel, the nice hotels, the nice dinners. You know, you're a young guy. You're out in the road. It's you really typically don't have family or you know any family at home. So it's a blast. And then as you get a little older and you go to the same old nice hotel for the 17th time and the same nice restaurant for the 18th time, and, and I'm not taking it for granted, it just becomes a little less. And you're missing things at home when you start having kids and you, you have a wife and she's missing things because she's not from the town or the city that you're living in now. So, you know, it, it, it's part of the job. It, it's like everything else. There's good parts and bad parts. And it, it's certainly not... Uh, not a bad deal in, in any way whatsoever. It just can get a little monotonous as you get a little bit older. Guys might not like to travel as much. And then it's it's an interesting thing as, as all great things. You you might get sick of them a little bit and then you lose them for seven years now. And, and I miss those road trips again. And you miss that. Yeah. You know, I'd love to go on that again. So it goes full circle. But uh, again, it's, it's, it's a big part of the job. It, it, it's very important. It, it's, it's what you do 180 days of the year. You're gone 90 of them, essentially 95 of them. So, uh, it's a, it's a sacrifice, but, but one that's certainly worth it. So now you, you know, you've been, uh, out of the game for a little bit, but you do, you work for Nesson, right? You do work for Nesson covering the Bruins. What's, I mean, what's that like? Cause you're still a young guy, you know, you're still a young guy. Yeah. So when you, when you see guys who, you've played against or played with and you're now covering them. Is there still like, do they ever mess with you at all? I always wondered that if they try messing with you, if you ever like, you know, trying to do a report on them or something like that, or if you're interviewing them. Yeah, no question. No question. You get that. Uh, and, and I'm getting close to the point where a lot of those guys are phased out now. There's, there's very few on each team that, that I played against. There's certainly not many guys that, that I played with and, and know well anymore. Um, a lot of the guys that I played against were real young when I played. So, so that's changing a little bit, but, but no question when you get in the room and you're around a couple of the older guys that, that you spend a lot of time with, they, uh, they get a kick out of you being on the other side of the microphone. No question. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, any early picks for the cup this year? Who do you think is going to win? I, I feel like this year 
Hey. My original thought and going into the last year's bubble was that it's going to be an upset, that it's going to be someone out of nowhere. And Tampa Bay completely proved me wrong. They were one of the top three favorites. And I think that's the way it's going to go again this year. You look at the first week of the season, the favorites are winning most games. And I think the best teams, when you're playing a quick 56 games and you're under the gun, under – you know, strenuous because you have COVID all the time. So I think the guy, the teams, the best teams are, are are rising to the top. And that happened in the playoffs last year. And I think that'll happen this year. So you look at a Tampa Bay again, you look at a Colorado, a St. Louis, a Boston Bruins, a Philadelphia. So, you know, you look at whatever Vegas has gotten that top five, six, seven, eight teams. I think you, you can uh, expect those to, to rise at the end. Now, last, because uh, we're going to probably, we're going to be getting a start shortly here. I think they're getting ready to get ready to, or getting ready to get behind the car here. But uh, last question, just because I'm a diehard Penguins fan. I'm originally from Pittsburgh. Uh, the problem is, okay, I have to wonder, a guy like Matt Murray, who, you know, Penn's got rid of, but what what's your, I mean, you were a goaltender for, you know, 12 years. What What do you recommend when a guy kind of hits that, He's still young. I keep forgetting Murray's like 26, 27. How do they kind of get back to that early form like he had? Yeah, he, he is surprisingly young. He was so young when he, he got those cups. And it, it's, it can be different. I think the change of scenery is going to help. There's no question. You, you, you reset and maybe humbled a little bit and get back to the basics. And, and that's what it all comes back to is just getting back to your, your simple routines. As you get older, you can – you can easily get out of routines. You have other things pulling at you. And if you get back to those daily things that you did when you were younger, at the rink, off the rink, I think that's that's the most simplest way to, to regain form. Oh, well, we never know. Matt Murray might have a uh, you know a little bit of a resurgence then. There's, there's a chance. There is a, there's chance. a chance. Maybe yeah. I think he's out in uh, Montreal now. If I'm Ottawa. Not mistaken. Yeah, Ottawa, Ottawa, that's where it is. Ottawa. There you go. That other um, yeah, the other, <laughs> the the other, other Canadian one. town. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. They're behind. Ronnie got him on the gate pretty sharp. This is gonna be uh it's gonna be exciting here, Andrew. Here we I'm go. Pumped. I know. Get going, number five. Oh, I always get nervous before these. <laughs> like, I, it's like pregame butterflies. No my, question. My legs shake. It's every single time. <laughs> Oh man, no one really scares me in this field, though. I think we'll be all right. Okay. Here we go. Get out to the front right away. Sharp start. Uh, wrong. You gonna float him? Uh oh. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna float him. He's gonna float him. We're good. There he goes. Two laps, correct? Yeah, they're going to go around twice. Got it. Oh, he's looking all right. I mean, he's sitting good. He's going to have a tough little trip from there, but. There, oh, he, there he goes. There he goes. He's going all the way around the outside. Cool. He's going to have the long mile tonight. Oh, man. He's looking all right, though. He's, he's seeming like he's okay. There we go. There he goes. Get going. And that's Cowboy's former driver on the front end with the three, too. Oh, yeah? Ryan Stahl, yeah, Ryan used to drive Cowboy. Okay. So I don't know if he's going to try and make it a little does tougher on him. Does that make – does he know his tendencies? Is that Does that play into it, or can that, I, not, can that affect it? Oh, I like goes. to think it, I like to think he probably does know a bit of what Cowboys like. Yeah, um, I think that's why Ryan's trying a little harder right here because he knows Cowboy. If he can hang him, he's going to struggle on that turn. But let's go. He's going right on there by. There he goes. There he goes. All right, come on, Cowboy. Make me look like a genius here, baby. <laughs> yeah. Keep pulling. Hold on, eight. Oh. Two, that's two. Hold on, two. He's, he's still okay. I mean, he's going to hopefully be able to cut this corner pretty nice. Come on, Ronnie. Uh, have some horse left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, Ron. 
Oh, oh, come on, Ronnie. Dig in. Hold on. That guy in the inside. Andrew, we got it. Yes. Cool. Yes, baby. There we go. That's a First winner. First win as an owner. That's, <laughs> that's magical. That's magical. We got to have you on every night now. Absolutely. I would if there are, if it guarantees win. Ooh. It seems like it does. I'm. I listen. I'm not. Uh, oh Nostra man, that's Thomas. exciting. That was yeah. awesome. That was a great race. That was a that was a hell of a drive by Ronnie too. I mean, Cowboy wanted to, uh, and I will say is he always tends to look like he wants to quit a bit near the okay. end of it. You and give uh, him a little love. Whoo! Uh, that right there, I thought we were. We thought it was. Oof. I thought we were done for too. I'm I, not gonna lie. That other Monday. guy, the inside was coming. Oh man! Oh, so that's uh, wonderful. That is first, a wonderful thing. First win as an owner, Andrew, there uh, with go. CDR Racing Stables. How how do you feel? You feeling feeling pretty pumped? Yeah, I'm pumped. I feel good about that. <laughs> I like it. More, <laughs> many more to come. Oh, let's hope. Let's hope, <laughs> man. So, uh, guys, go. I'm going to. Um, I know Andrew got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, he joined us for the race. I'm gonna let Andrew kind of get going to uh, to the rest of his day, but. Man, thank awesome. you. Thank that was you, a thank blast. You. Thanks for no, thanks for having me on. That was awesome. That was fun. Hold on, let me get this. Down. Yeah, it was man, it was incredible. It was incredible. I'm I'm absolutely pumped that we got you your first win. Um and you know, here's to to many more with CDR Racing today. Well, thank you for uh, for being a part of all this, man. I appreciate it. It was fun. You got it. Thanks for having me on. Anytime. We'll do it again for another win. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. So uh, big thank you to Andrew for coming on for that race. Um, impressive Cowboy gets gets the win. I did not want to swear and freak out with Andrew uh, on stream. So you guys know that took a lot for me. It was a lot of uh, dedication to avoid all the swearing and the freaking out and everything else. Um, AO get carried first winner. Congratulations, man. First winner is, is an owner, Mark. Congratulations, you guys as well. You are owners with uh, with Andrew, myself. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, super, super, super pumped. Dana, thank you for the super chat. Uh, guys, what a fucking race! What a race. Are you kidding me? And I got through the whole interview without passing out. It's a beautiful day. Lee, first win as an owner. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Um, so, so, so excited for everybody. Um, absolutely insane. Uh, massive, Matt. Once again, like, thank you to Andrew for coming on because that was just killer. Uh, we'll play a little Northfield. I'll stay on for about an hour or so, play a little Northfield with you guys. I'm going to take a small break. I got to refill my water. I think I sipped about a gallon of water to, to make sure I didn't pass out or anything. I was freaking out the whole time because I'm a massive, you know, a massive fan of Andrews. So um, let me get Northfield's feet up. Uh, that is awesome, though. We get a winner um, with Andrew on board. Incredible. All you guys uh, who are owners, congratulations. We get, we get a winner here. Uh, impressive Cowboy looked great. Uh, I could not ask for more out of him. Man. That is incredible. I wish, and you guys like saw how reserved I was. You guys saw how reserved I was. I didn't freak out. I didn't go like crazy. I just tried to be like nice, cool, calm, prof professional Cameron because God forbid I scared away Andrew Raycroft on the first race. I had to, I had to present a unified and, and like kind of solid front here. Uh, man, I'm pumped. Guys, I'm pumped. I'm going to be right back. I'd take a quick break. We'll do a little bit Northfield and whatever else is going off to spend an hour with you guys. Jay, yes, it does feel good. Also, Jay, thank you so, so much for your donation. Um, I missed it in chat, but when I was reading back, I saw your donation. Uh, that was awesome, man. I appreciate you helping out the uh, Standard Bear Retirement Fund and the uh, OSAS. Great stuff, man. Uh, guys, I'm going to be right back. Right back. And uh, first win uh, with Impressive Cowboy for CDR Racing. First one for Andrew. First one for a lot of you guys who just joined the ownership stay, uh, the ownership experience. So I'm um, very, very happy for everybody. That's the way we want to start it. Uh, first race right off the rip. Let's go. I'll see you guys in a minute.
Oh, all right, guys. Let's go. Man, I'm not going to lie. I tried, like, Robert Taylor, thank you. Thank you, Robert Taylor. Uh, Dina, 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 my favorite. Thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry I missed that one. I was with Andrew. I'm not going to. I'm always very upfront with you guys. I legitimately felt like I was going to just drop over in the middle of that. I was so freaking nervous. It's not even funny. Oh, my God. And we get a win. This is just incredible. Uh, could not ask for a better night. Dina, thank you for the super chat so much. I appreciate it. You are the best. You already know that. Um, Amy, thank you. Gene texts me. Uh, Gene Gilliman <laughs> Gene says he won. He texts me. I told you he was going to win for fun. Hell yeah. Carol Ann, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Lewis, now I'm just going to do a little bit of Northfield. Um, Jay, did you bet him? I hope you bet him a little bit. Man, I am so pumped beyond belief. Uh, oh my god! And the fact that we were able to get, you know, get the win. Uh, man, guys, you guys are awesome. If you would have told me back when I started this, okay, if you would have told me back whenever uh, I started this that I was gonna be talking to guys that I literally grew up with. Uh, or not grew up, grew up watching. Like, I watched Andrew playing when I was growing up. When I was a kid, I was watching Andrew uh, play in the NHL, right? Play for the Bruins, play for the Leafs. Um, kicked my Penguins' asses a couple of times. But, you know, I watched this guy growing up. And the fact that I'm now having these dudes who, I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe that anything that I built even got to this point and to have you guys be a part of it. I'm so appreciative for everything you guys do in the chat um, to, to kind of share things and keep involved and make it fun. And you guys are just awesome. All of them. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Yes. Carrots for Cowboy for sure. Um, Man, and the, the crazy thing is, like, it's a small, it wasn't a big purse money race. It was a small race. Cowboys trying to get back in the form. But the fact that we, the fact that we get a win, um, man, it is just so, so, so crazy. Uh, you know, that all this kind of happened. And Andrew's such a great man, man, for coming on here. Um, he was, he's super, he's busy. The guy still works for Ness. He still has to cover hockey. He's got all kind of stuff. In fact, you took a couple minutes to come on. I'm so grateful for that. Let's uh, get another winner here at, uh, at Northfield. Now it's time to bet, have a little fun. Um, the horse I really like in here is the four. I think Spiritual Sun's actually not a bad horse in this spot. Uh, Kurt Sug makes me a little nervous, but I don't mind the four. That's probably where my money's going. I'm still so hyper over all this. I don't even know what to say. I wish I could tell you guys I wasn't extremely hyper and like, just all pumped up over this. But man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, am I like just through the roof right now. I love the fact that we are, um, that we even got a winner today. Uh, I, I just don't like, and, and that's crazy. It's crazy. I wish I could be more like put together and professional here, but I'm freaking out. I'm absolutely freaking out. Wow. So, uh, Mike King, yes, I did. Uh, I did kick your ass in top jockey. That's cool, though. That's cool. It's uh, it's a fun game, Mike. You will beat your turn, your time against me. You will beat me eventually. It'll happen. Oh man, guys, I wish you could have saw my hands. Well, I'm sitting there talking to Andrew. I swear to God, I wish I could say I was like so cool and collected. My hand was like, did you ever see uh, Blazing Saddles? Remember whenever, um, when Gene Wilder's like, uh, they asked him about the whole, he used to be the, what was it called? The Waco Kid. And he said he couldn't shoot no more. And he goes like this. He said, yeah, look. And he's like, looks fine. He goes, yeah, this is the hand I shoot with. That's how my hand was when Andrew saw it. I was like, Oh my god, I could not. I was freaking out, man. I was freaking out. Man, I this is never gonna get old to me. It's never gonna be uh it's never gonna be something that gets old to me. 
It's just crazy. It is so, so crazy. Man, I'm going with the four here, guys. I got to play a little action the four's way. Um, incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a way to start the night. Let's go. Let's go. Um, also, I mean, it's just, dude, I'm like, I wish I could stop being so excited. I really do. I mean, you guys are going to get sick of hearing me talk about it at some point. But I really wish I could stop being so excited. I'm freaking out. I mean, the purse money's good, right? They ran for, what was it, 3500 So, you know, not spectacular, but... Yeah, 1750 out of it for Cowboy. Cowboy adds another 1750 to his uh, to his little bankroll. Thank you guys so much. Lee, what's up, man? Uh, hey, oh, now I'm not going to do Pompano because it doesn't start till like 7. Um, I don't know. It's just see money. Very true true words here, man. Yeah, you stop getting hyped when you get out. That's exactly right. That's the way to do it. I wish there was a point in time where I was like, maybe I can get back to the bus nervous. Jay, you're right about that. Yeah, I'm going to be telling my kids and stuff about this for sure. Like, listen, I had a, I you know, owned a horse and had a race stream and had a, a live stream with a, a 12 year NHL vet. How much cooler does it get? Not bad for a 26 year old college dropout, right? I mean, not bad. It's crazy to think any of this even turned into anything. Oh, man. I'm so, like, blown away, guys. You guys are all awesome. Um, let me put the, uh, I'm going to put the link to Discord in the chat. Uh, you guys need to join the Discord channel. It's fun. Lee's part of it. Um, C-Money, Dina, A.O., Mike King, uh, really the whole group here is involved in the Discord chat. Uh, let me go ahead and get the link put in. Man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. What, what did I do to, uh, to deserve this life? I don't know. All right, guys, Discord uh, has just been put up on chat on YouTube. Uh, make sure to join the Discord channel if you have not. Just click that link and uh, head on over and subscribe. I'm on the four here. Uh, you're not subscribed, but join. I'm on the four. Yeah, Jay, I don't know why you're not in the Discord. But, Jay, you were on Scotty McKeever's stream. Trader. I heard about that. I heard about that one. I got eyes and ears everywhere, Jay. You're on Scotty McKeever's stream whenever I was off. Oh, Scotty boy. 
That's all right. Hey, McKeever's a cool dude, man. He's a cool dude. Doesn't look as good. He's not as, he's not as pretty as me. But I get it. I get it, Jay. It's fine. It's cool. We'd love to have you on the Discord. It'd be fantastic. When C1, I, that was probably the best thing ever. I'm like sitting there and said, man, where's Jay? They say, oh, he's on Scotty McKeever's. I said, what? On Scotty McKeever's stream? McKeever? Let's get this four up. Jay says, yeah, learning does not stop in this game. That's true. Jay, who's cooler though, me or Scotty? Be honest. Be brutally honest. If it's not if it's not me, that's fine. I'll live with it. My four broke. My four broke. I don't even care if I lose. I could lose the house tonight. I'd feel fine. Man. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Jay says straight up I am. Damn right. Hear that, Scotty McKeever? I'm cooler than you. Cooler than you, bruh. Sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Oh, the one just ran. Well, that makes this race interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, everybody, let me, let me say this. Um, first off, I forgot to mention this, but huge, huge thank you. I mean, like, I'm pumped that Andrew came on the stream and everything. But let's let's thank the people that made the, the difference on Cowboy today. Huge thank you, trainer Sean Mapes. Sean's a young dude, great guy, um, hell of a trainer. Ronnie Wren, I call Ronnie the Tom Cruise of Northfield Park for good reason. No submission impossible uh, type of shit happened there. Cowboy gets on the front, looks like he's just totally out of it, getting pressed every which way. Ronnie Wren livens it back up. That's exactly what uh, the Tom Cruise. Exactly what Tom Cruise All right, is this four going to have any? He's not winning from there, but I mean, I'd like him to at least get second. I got him with place. I got him with that old WP. Oh, he's done. Shit. That is what it is. I ain't going to complain. I'm having too good of a night to complain. Too good of a day. Uh, guys, where do we want to play next? Do we want to play a little Miami Valley? Two minutes away. Now let's play some Dover. Let's go Dover Downs. Let's go Dover Downs for good guys. Uh, Dover, Dover, Dover. I'm going to... Look, this horse is like a total... Uh, I think probably one of my favorite bets to make just because I think this horse is super, super live here. Uh, I'm going to go with OK, let's rock and roll the two horse out at Dover Downs. Currently 5-2. to two. Uh, Looking pretty good in the program. I looked at this horse earlier when I was handicapping. I do like the uh, two horse. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Who had the nine? Someone hit a double with the nine. Who is that? that hit the, I, I remember seeing someone say, hey, I need the nine. Someone hit a nice little. Mark. Mark, hell of a double. Let's go with Old Faithful here. Hell of a double, Mark. Also, Mark, I don't know if I, I kind of like had this whole, you know, just absolute meltdown. Uh, but because with Andrew being on stream, I got a little worked up. But very, very uh, thankful uh, to you, Mark, getting in on the ownership uh, thing. Lee as well. You guys are awesome.
this is just too too cool. I'm going on. I like this too, man. This too makes a lot of sense here. Okay, let's rock and roll. I like the breeding too. I, I you know, a rock and roll dance. Not a lot of people necessarily love that horse. Let's face it, though. Let's just face it. I mean, there's not much to beat here. Uh, you know, I think it's good. I think he's good. All right. I mean, am I the only one that's shocked that I managed to go that entire time without swearing once? I'm pretty shocked. Pretty shocked. Don't know how I did it. But, uh, you know, quite, quite the, uh, what's the best way to put it? The achievement, I'd say. You guys have seen me on stream plenty of times. Plenty of times. Chris, he won the uh the first out at Northfield. First out at Northfield. Impressive Cowboy. Impressive Cowboy. Uh we own him in a partnership with Kyle Warner. Um I believe. Yeah, Kyle, if you Chris, I know you watched before. I I believe you'd probably remember because I mean your name sounds familiar. I think you've watched like back when Party Bell when we had Party Bell. It's the same guy who owns uh who owned Party Bell with us whenever we owned whenever we had Party Bell before she got claimed away. Um, Kyle Warner. So we did like the partnership with Kyle on the uh, Cowboy as well. We, we like him a lot. He's a very nice horse. He's a very, very nice horse. But uh Chris, I don't know if you remember that time. I feel like you were on the stream before, back when we had Party Bell. I feel like you were. So I don't know if you remember Kyle or not. But if you do, that's the that's the guy who we uh who we own Party Bell with. Very nice dude. Sharp. Very sharp with planners, Kyle is. Fox, Gloria. Yeah, I had to do okay, so Gloria is on a temporary hold until I figure because YouTube uh kind of threatened to take away my, my monetization for the Gloria stuff. So I had to uh you know respectfully stay away from Gloria for now. Kinda rough. Kinda rough that they did that thing. Um the horse impressive cowboy. He was just in first in he's out of Hawaiian cowboy. I can't remember who the damn was. I think he's like eight, um, but yeah, like I said, we got in a partnership with uh, Kyle Werner on that one. Um, Gene Gillerman, uh, big thank you to Gene because Gene kind of set that up for all to kind of make all that happen, um, getting me in touch with Kyle, and Kyle was the right person to kind of start this with too, because he's very very sharp with uh, with Kramer. I mean, Kyle Kyle has an eye for horses. He's very very good. Um, so it kind of made sense because he's he's someone that's really done ownership from the ground up by himself and built a, built a really nice stable for himself. I think Kyle has like four, I don't know how many horses he has. I, I know it's double digits. I don't know exactly how many, but um, you know Kyle's a great dude, great dude to learn from. So you know, very excited to uh, to be involved with, with him because he's helped out quite a bit. At least get this two up for second for me. I had him win plays, but I'm gonna end up losing this guy. He don't look too good. Yeah, we'll do uh we'll do Gloria once I figure that stuff out. Yeah, he's gonna do for second. Um we'll do Gloria once I figure that stuff out, but I don't wanna lose my whole monetized thing. You're stealing everything from me. Oh, technically, we stole Gloria first, I guess.
I kind of wish, uh, you know, a part of me, now that I look back on it, I kind of messed up a tiny, like not a massive amount, but I messed up a tiny bit because I realized I didn't have the audio on. It would have been cooler, I guess, seeing that or hearing that. That race call. I got too excited there, guys. You know, my hands are like this. I couldn't keep my hands still. Uh, Chris, I don't know if, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Why am I not? I had something to tell Chris, too, because I saw something the other day. Maybe you know, I wanted to ask him. Oh, 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 Chris, I know what I wanted to. Chris, I know what I wanted to ask you while we're waiting on the, I got to put the new screen, but I know what I wanted to ask you. So I know you've mentioned, I think it was, I can't remember if it was you, there was someone, someone you knew had bought into a New York brand. Um, with the stable, I was just curious, which I meant to ask you, and I didn't. But I was curious what what horse it was, because I wanted to look it up. Because now we're kind of getting toward that time where we're getting into uh, talks with like sire stakes, and I was curious if that horse was going to be running the. I guess it's the Excelsior series or anything, anything like that. I was just curious what to look for, um, but I like keeping track of that stuff. I like keeping track of that stuff. So let me know um, if you have, if you don't, if you don't know the horse's name, it's no big deal. But I was just curious because I'm, I'm trying to write down because what Anthony does, which guys, this is, you know, we have CDR racing stables, which is fun. Um, you know, we, we deal with older, like our horses, we all, we just deal with aged horses. We don't deal with babies really. Um, Anthony does a great thing. Uh, McDonald with the stable where he, you know, he does fractional kind of similar to us. Um, he does all, you know, does babies, things like that. So, uh, you know, his thing's cool. Really, it's nice to see multiple, multiple avenues to go. Like if you guys want to get into claimers, aged horses that we're going to get a start out of each week, um, we're definitely the place to go. I think it's probably the, the more kind of, I don't want to say more bang for your buck. I think I would say, yeah, it's like a little less, less stressful. I feel like it's more instant with us where with the babies, you got to kind of wait a little bit. Um, so I would say if you guys want to get into age horses, definitely, you know, join up with, uh, with Andrew. I mean, that's the other cool thing. Andrew's going to go to, I would imagine, quite a few, um, quite a few races and stuff. So, uh, it'd be cool getting to go in the winter circle with Andrew and things like that. Um, you know, it's just a really cool experience. I think that we're able to kind of provide and. A lot of great people about Caleb Ham from the uh, Toronto Argonauts as well. Um, one guy that I've been talking to as, as well about possibly, I don't know, I don't want to say it for sure, um, but I don't want to say names. I won't say names. But uh, two former NFLers, uh, one was in the league for 10 years, played for the Bengals and the Chiefs. Uh, another uh, was in the league for, I want to say 12 years, 11 years. And, uh, he had played for the Raiders and uh, who's the other team? Raiders and oh, I'm dropping the ball now. And I know that I should know more about this dude. Um, played for the Raiders and Patriots. Played for the Raiders and Patriots. So um, we have a couple of guys uh, that are thinking about joining as well with Andrew and Caleb. And, uh, yeah, it's been really cool to uh, to kind of get. These guys involved with them. Uh, Marlon, yes, I'll be doing the uh, I'll be doing the big races this weekend. That's for sure. I didn't even get a chance to bet this race. I just want to have I'm gonna be betting the next at Northfield, but I wanted to spend some time with you guys because this was a uh, just a really freaking cool day. I mean, we get a win, which is crazy. I don't understand it. And Andrew comes on like. It's surreal, guys. It's surreal. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not somebody who's at a loss for words ever. It usually gets overtaken by just a moment, but 
I don't know. I, I just can't stop. I can't stop. And it's just, uh, it's just the uh, Marlon, yeah, I mean, I'll be live for, probably it'll be from like 12 to noon. I'll be live. That's like a normal schedule. Maybe a little longer, but more than likely 12 to noon. And then if it's any longer, All right, let's do a race at Northfield, um, and then I'll probably, because I'm going to do some work for the stable here and everything, um, but let's get a thing at Northfield here, uh, this is the third race. Uh, thank you, Marlon. Make sure... Marlon, just uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified whenever I'm like actually live. Um, yeah, Pegasus, Pegasus World Cup is this weekend. Uh, Oakland is going to be a big. I'm excited for Oakland. That's for sure. Very, very excited for Oakland. See, now this is like the same class the Cowboy just ran against. Um, what's running here at Northfield? And there's a horse I really, really, like, I like him a lot. He's, I understand one to draw has every reason to be a favorite. I really like Rocky Regal. I like Rocky Regal a lot. I think he's the five horse here. But I've, I've taken a, a couple looks at this horse, and he's not all that bad. I'm going to take a shot with him. He's three to one. Marlon, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Give me the five here, um, and then I'm probably going to call it a stream because we kind of just wanted to watch it here. Tuesday is normally the day that I don't stream, um, so I wanted to watch Cowboy and uh, get a chance to have Andrew on and all that. So very, 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 you know, a thousand percent happy with that. Man. Let's get this five up. That is on a good note. Um, man, I don't know if anyone can tell how nervous I was. That's why I'm curious. A bunch of people are texting me, and I don't know if anyone can tell how nervous I was. I feel like it was probably obvious because I, I don't know. I feel like it had to be obvious how nervous I was. I'd say for sure it was like a mixture. You know, I mentioned a, um, I guess, yeah, it was like a mixture of like excited and, and nervous. And it just kind of combined in this perfect storm. I'm sitting here shaking in my, in my slippers like a madman. All right, let's get this five up for the good guys. Let's end it on a good note. Thank all of you guys for watching tonight, by the way. Um, if you haven't yet, please join the Discord. 
Um, everybody's going to be talking racing there all night. That's just the way it goes. Um, Charlie, I saw you in chat. Sorry, sorry, Charlie, I missed you. I was scrolling up to uh, find the Discord. Um, where the hell did I post that? Anyone see where I posted the Discord? I can't find it in chat now. Oh, here it is. Um, guys, that link that's up on the screen right now, that is to Discord. Everybody, let's go, Ronnie. Get this five out. There you go, buddy. We're home. We got a nice price home right here. Gone. Gonzo. Thundaka. Call it. It's over. Uh, guys, like, super fun. C Money does a lot of great stuff on there. Um, you know, I, I would like to have the Discord get as big as possible because it's, it's very fun. Um, we have a lot of great guys on there just talking about racing, uh, guys and girls just talking about racing all day, uh, every day, sometimes, you know, other stuff too, but just in general, just a great group of people. Um, the innocence, you're so polite, seems straight up a bit of curse. That's my favorite comment. I was, I was nice enough to take the church. That's, I mean, I was like perfect. I don't know. I was like really. I wanted to make sure I didn't say anything stupid. That was the main concern. I didn't want to say anything stupid. And I, I'll be honest because I'm, uh, I'm very honest about everything. And I had told, I had told Andrew like exactly the question I was going to ask him. Like, oh, we got time to kill. I'm going to ask you about this whenever we get, you know, just to fill time before the race. I asked the total wrong question right out of the gate. I like complete wrong question. It wasn't even close to being what I told him I was going to ask him. So I would never make it as a uh, as an actual reporter or an interviewer or anything. But I told him, like, yeah, I'm going to ask this. And, uh, he's like, okay, great. We go live. I asked him something totally opposite. My five voices just done. That's a shame. That's a shame. Five voices done. I like that one, too. He's getting old, but he's 12. Right near the end of his run. All right, guys, so uh, I, I want to say thank you. Thank, like, I didn't handicap a ton for tonight. I handicapped a little bit because I, I wasn't expecting to be on super long. Uh, but thank you to everybody for, for watching tonight and watching Andrew join the stable for his first win. That was really cool. Um, you know, guy was a uh, hell of a uh, goaltender for a long time. Now we got him involved in harness racing, which is awesome. Man, still can't believe it. But, uh, Guys, join Discord. If you have not already, download the Top Jockey game. The link is in the description below. Super fun. Um, I can attest to it. Mike King, who uh, I'm sure probably is still in chat, but Mike's on Discord. We always talk a little uh, trash on each other at Top Jockey. Uh, download Top Jockey. It's a fun game. If you haven't downloaded it already, it's free. The link to the uh, App Store, whether you're on an iPhone or Android, uh, link to the App Store, just click it, download it. It takes you directly to uh, either Google Play Store or the App Store. And you can uh, start playing, you know, compete with all of us, have fun. And, uh, you know, it's it's a great way to kill time in between races. I'll admit that. I'll admit that. It's a great way to kill time in between races. So uh, make sure to download that game. Uh, guys, if you'd like to support the channel, you can always join the Patreon. Uh, that's always a fun time. We have a great group of people on there. If you want to become an owner in harness racing, Join CDR Racing Stables, www.cdrracingstables.com. Link is in the description below. Um, right alongside with guys like myself. Uh, and, you know, not that anybody would really want to be, uh, you, know, involved. you know, I'm not the face of the thing. You know, I'm not the guy who wants to be standing next to. Obviously, Andrew and the dude wants to stand next to. Uh, but myself and Phil, you don't own the stable together. Uh, you guys probably know Phil. It's a good time. It's definitely fun. So I would recommend uh, you know joining up if, if you're interested or real, reach out to me or Phil if you have any questions too. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, you can always message me. Um, you know, or you can message uh, you can message Phil anytime. We'd be happy to, to answer any questions you guys have about joining up, possibly. So uh, it was fun. It was fun. Absolutely crazy. So thank you guys so much for uh, for being involved tonight and getting uh, you know getting a chance to see that because this was for sure one of the uh, one of those days I'm probably not going to forget for a while. Um, 
kind of just validates all the hard work that I had put into this. Um, you know, that's, I think that's the big thing. Like, I, and I'll, I'll leave it on this thing. So, like, when I started this and this stream had first started, it was one thing that was just cool enough that I was getting guys from around the racing industry to come on and talk a bit about what they do. That was awesome. It is another thing now to not only have, you know, a guy that I watched driving growing up, like Phil Hedon. Um, you know, Phil was my guy. I always, always, always would bet Phil if I was betting Oha. I never knew the guy before this or anything, and he came on for a stream, met Phil, and we had this idea to start this stable and see what we could do for the sport. And then to take that and have, you know, guys like Andrew uh, come on and be involved, it's just, uh, and Caleb too, Caleb him, uh, you know, plays in the CFL. He's, he's a great person to have involved too. A uh, young guy, I think Caleb's like 23, 24. Uh, so it's really cool to have these guys get involved because I think it shows that our sport is a little bit more well-known than people like to think. And I think it's great for the, uh, for the, the business itself. Um, not just not just my stable guys. I think tonight was a big deal for racing in general because we did get a you know a, a person who is outside that racing bubble to come on and and talk racing and experience a win and, and just really um, show what we can w what this sport can be uh, whether you know about racing or not. Um, you know, someone who isn't even really super super familiar with it can get involved and have a, an absolute blast. So. Super crazy to think that all this stuff has, has even gotten this big. I appreciate all the support, guys. I will be live tomorrow at noon. We have a big, big, big day of racing tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to be live all of those days. And uh, 12 noon, guys, that's what it's going to be. I appreciate it so much. Thank you all. Uh, best of luck on your wagers tonight. Um, please, please, please join the Discord. I will be on there uh, probably throwing some of my picks that will most likely lose, but I'll be on there throwing some of my picks in there and uh, see money. All those guys will definitely um, be on there and uh, and kind of just talking about the races tonight. So um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. Everybody have a, a fantastic night. Good luck to you, and we'll uh, see you on Discord. We'll continue to chat over there. We'll see you guys later.